Um, first thing that we want to talk about, we want to go through number one myth. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Move us over. It's not liking me today very much. <laughs> just going to move it over here. Um, so number one myth, guys, is the more you train, the more you lose. I think both both of us fell into this, especially starting off as well. Um, we used to train. Overtraining. We used to train like 10. Not, not having rest days. Not having rest days. Just to do like Pushing an hour and a half weights. To the and then max go for a run for an hour. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we definitely overtrained. When we, that was one of the biggest things that kind of held us back from results was the fact that we were just killing ourselves. Um, and we're, also we're like enjoying it. only training the things that we liked, not necessarily things that we needed to train as well. That's true as well. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so a big myth, guys. Reason why this is obviously causing us actual fat fat gain um, is number one is it causes muscle breakdowns. So when you overtrain, you start to actually break down your muscle fibers. Um, and like we mentioned yesterday as well, the lower our muscle is, the slower our metabolism is. The less energy we expend at rest. Um, so very important to actually build muscle because we're building up that metabolism, which is just going to help us yeah. um, burn more body fat. That's exactly what, what we want. Um, number two is so overtraining basically we can have a lot of fat gain as well because we have injuries so if you have a high risk of injury because you're overtraining um you're going to be out for a good four to six weeks and if you're out you're not able to work out you're going to definitely um, put the weight back on that you've lost so it's very important to take note to that and um, plus without having any rest and recovery um all that like stress and pressure and strain on your body increases your cortisol levels which you know increases your stress, your stress hormones, hormone. which the first thing your body does is gain weight yeah, it drops muscle and basically mm-hmm. gains body fat, which we don't want at all. Um, this is a big point as well, so overtraining. Um, so basically calorie fluctuation. Um, so someone that trains, say someone, you do like four, four um, workouts one week, and then the next week you guys do like 10 workouts. That fluctuation there is creating a lot of, um, a lot of obviously, um, yeah, yo-yo, yo-yo basically to your calorie expenditure. Yeah. Um, if it's if you're doing that with your food intake, and if it's up and down all the time, you've got to put body fat on because it's, it's not consistent. Um, the same applies to training as well. And that's same with training and energy expenditure. Something we definitely um, definitely have realised now is we want to be consistent. You're better off doing three workouts consistently each week in that than kind of having that sort of jump Rather up and down. Than one one week and then like five the next week. Yeah. The one where you train one is obviously you're going to put body fat on and the one that you train five, you'll lose body fat. But if you kind of just keep jumping up in and out, you're going to, going to really struggle to kind of um, get to where you want to be. Um, number three, so it's unsustainable so you have physical and mental fatigue um you're very drained you're always sore and it's just not something that's going to be enjoyable that's that's definitely a big part of it yeah um i love this photo mm-hmm. um so yeah working out becomes a chore so when we force ourselves to overtrain it becomes a chore um basically it becomes i have to versus i want to yeah um, you don't enjoy it which means you don't want to do it and you just don't feel motivated to do it then you're going to have those weeks as well that are like one week's four and one week's obviously it's up and down again. So you're going to have that inconsistency, which is going to put put more body fat on. And it's creating, a, I guess, of more of like a punishment system rather than out of, I want Love. to do this for my body because I know it makes my body feel good. I know it's good for my body. It's um, I love this one as well. So what works obviously life lifelong is do it because you love yourself, not because you hate yourself or you want to punish yourself. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is a big thing as well as like if you enjoy – like you don't have to do cardio if you enjoy weight training. Do that if if you don't like burpees, if you don't like going for I don't know long runs or whatever. You don't have to do that. You you got to do what you love. It's about that's, finding what fits you, what lights you up, what enjoyment you get out of it. One hundred percent. That's exactly what we teach as well. As we find out what you guys love, and that's what we're going to run with um, with your training. Myth number two, guys. I love this. Me and Crystal. How often do we do cardio, Crystal? Never. Never. <laughs> we never do cardio. The only time we're going to do cardio yeah. is like comp if prep. Comp prep. You're doing a car like. Cardio is amazing for your cardiovascular system to yep. get fit and everything like that. If your goal is not to run a marathon, why would you do it? You don't need to do it. You definitely, you can lose so much weight, obviously, with the gym, with weights and that. Um, exercise and that as well is just to enhance, obviously, to speed things up and that. Um, but nutrition is the first thing you need to take control 100%. of. That's that's where all the Can't time needs to go. train a bad diet. No, like we've had clients try that over years and that as well. We've had them train 10 times a week in that, but not track their, not track their calories and just see no results. Then we've had someone that literally just goes, we've got clients that will go for a walk maybe like twice a week. Mm-hmm. And they track their macros with this. They have a obviously nutrition coaching and they've seen like 20, 30, 40 kilos of weight loss because of that. That's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, yes, so what we believe is weight is king and queen. Okay, it's where it's at. So we build muscle, which allows us to burn more energy at rest, which bumps metabolism up. 
um, you got greater calories um, as well, to, like an allowance to allow you to actually enjoy life more as well, which is massive. And you can eat more food. Eat more food, enjoy yourself. Yeah. Um, Crystal as well, just to take note, guys, Crystal basically, most of the year, she's sitting close to about 3,000 calories, okay, unless she's obviously cutting for a comp in that. Um, it allows you to go out to breakfast, to, to, yeah. to have things like, have things out with friends and that, and not obviously have like, have you easily put body funnel. It's so, mm, so easy to maintain. My body responds really well. Like, if I do go out and eat something, like um, like a treat or something like that, my body responds really well. It's going to burn it really quickly. It's actually, it's like, actually it's better. Me, it's yeah, better for it, yeah, as well. It gives me more energy. Like, my body knows what to do with it because it's working so, like, sufficiently. Yeah. Rather oh. than making it fatigue tired and just storing his body fat like it kind of like gives me energy gives almost energy. like refuels my body um because only because like my body's working so well yeah so it's i'm on the same as well so i'm on over four thousand calories now as well and like for many years when i was on a thousand calories i'd put weight on like this i basically just fluctuate um all the time with my weight um it wasn't until i fixed my metabolism and actually built my foundation um, that I can actually go out and enjoy myself and actually not feel guilty and, and just knowing that my body can handle the food that I do have when we do go out. Yeah. Um, that's what we're all about, guys. We're all about getting you guys the life that you want mm -hmm. so you can see your friends, you can see your family. That's and very as important. well, like, because you love what you're doing you, and you love the food that you're eating already, you know, you love training, you love your workouts, you don't want to go out and blow it on foods that you wouldn't normally eat as often. And if you do have those kind of treat meals, you're not going to go too crazy. You're yeah, going to go you fit it into your budget. It's not going to yeah, turn yeah. out into a big, massive binge. You're not going to hate yourself. You're not going to go, yeah. Then, yeah, spend three no or four No around it. 100%. That's a very healthy relationship with food, and that's exactly what we want to teach you guys as well. Because we want you guys to go out with your friends, because we want you guys to have burgers and, <laughs> and stuff that you enjoy in that as well. Um, and this is why, with all our girls, we train with weights. We teach you guys yeah. exactly how to, how to basically move your body, how to lift heavy how to build muscle and how to build that metabolism that we want. That's really important. Um, lastly, guys, so remember, cardio is the last piece of the puzzle. So we won't really push you guys to do any cardio unless you're obviously cutting for, for, for an event or something like that. It's like the very last thing that we do. Yeah. We fix all your habits, all your nutrition first, and then we obviously start to get you guys moving with weights now, start building muscle. And at the very end, we then start to add a little bit of cardio. Okay, yeah. If you guys are going like 110%. percent stress on the body too. Oh, big time. So. You yeah. feel so much better. But if you guys are going 110% from day dot with like six, seven, eight, nine sessions, like you've got nothing to add for future. Especially if you've not even considered your food in that calculation, like changing up your food. Yeah. Daily habits and foods where it starts and then we start to move on to this at the very end. But um, yeah, today's big um, moral, moral, moral of the story is weights is where it's at. So that's definitely the king and queen um, for results now. Awesome. Right. Awesome, guys. See you real soon. Bye, See guys. You guys. Bye.